We've got them locked in. Eyes on target. What is good, y'all? We on our way right now to uh, Lunchtime Radio with DJ Luke, right? So y'all can tune in. 89.5 out there in Vallejo or the Ozark.com. O Z A R T dot com. Or you can just go on my social media and pick up the link there. But tune in. It's going to be some dope conversation going on, some updates on when I'm dropping material and things like that. So y'all tune in. Y'all already know. This is Happy Hour with DJ Luke here at Ozcat Radio, KZC Team 89.5 FM in Vallejo. Even though I'm at my home studio, remotely as usual. All right, we have one more triple shot of music to play. That is DJ Luke's mainstream favorites, and Spittles has just arrived, so we're going to have an awesome chat and play some music. And uh, yeah, the guest segment is really the driving force of my show every week. And I've been having a really great string of guests lately. Haven't had a flake guest in how long? I don't even remember that. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have a good time. Here's a... All right, that does it for the music for the day. I have a special guest, and I'm going to have this guest introduce himself right now, and then we're going to do the 25 years ago stuff. It is your girl Spittles right now, live from Sacramento, rocking out with DJ Lou. Um, and we just here to have a good time. I'm here enjoying some of this lovely music, so um, I'm excited to, you know, go ahead and give y'all a little piece and dig a little deeper of me, but I am excited to be here. Well, it's good to have you. We've known each other for maybe about 10 years in the music scene. Um, I think we met at a live show somewhere, yep. and it was through mutual people that we, like Sacramento, and there's a big music scene here, but in the end, it's kind of small because we all kind of know each other, and everyone... Especially if you work now. Yeah, t- tends to be supportive. So we'll get to the folks that are in our circle. Uh, shout out Emo, who hey. has arrived here with us, and he's going to get his own... Uh, episode at some point I'm booked through mid June yeah. but uh, after that yeah. and um, but before that you know I've had I've had prior experience to the studio time and you know yes. but nothing really worth like focusing on or I wasn't really focused at the time but yeah um, got that out and ever since then it's just been really not stopped you know. what year was that for you? that was in 2011 January 1 1 1 1 <laughs> 2011, it was um, January 11th, yep, all ones. 1-11-11. Yeah, it was all ones, so. Uh, but yeah, that thing's been out for a while, and I forgot what the cover looks like. I know and I've seen it. So it is actually shot, and the picture is a picture of me in front of my house, but it's all red. It was just a bunch of, um, you know, networking and connecting on, on that album. Um, I had D-Dub on there. Uh, um, D-Dub, yes. And Carter was on there. Um, Emo was on there. Um, man, it, it's a nice album. Um, and we get ready to drop number two soon. But y'all stay posted on my social media about that. Um, but yeah. Was it an album or mixtape? I remember something with an airplane and, and... Oh, you're talking about the um, the Express Package uh, mixtape series. Yeah, I okay. dropped two of those. Um, and then after that, I dropped um, All Hail Female mixtape. And that had a bunch of obviously dope females on there. Um, I dropped West Coasting, which was uh, me and Marvelous presented that. Um, I also, I dropped a bunch of stuff. I dropped a lot of mixtapes and some albums too, so... Um, the consecutive order, I don't really remember, but yeah, yes. Let's say you're getting ready to work on something. You're purposely, not like a, a flash of, ooh, there's a good song idea. Let's say it's time to sit down and work on something. Do you write to beats that you get? What's your beat selection process? What do you like to get? So, um, as far as my beat selection, um, I've, been, I've been getting a little more intentional. Um, about the type of beats um, only because I'm intentional about the message that I bring but my as far as my beat selection um, I like good energy right so it doesn't matter if it's a lower tempo or a higher tempo um, just as long as it brings good energy or a message um, okay. and so I have lately been buying um, production from Triple A, shout out to Triple A, been buying production from Emo, um, my DJ 100, shout out to DJ 100. Um, so I only have like a selective few people that I actually do buy production from. So I'm kind of picky, but not really. I've never sensed that you have filler. Uh, some people have that 
uh, let's say an album, 12 songs, and they're, they're two big songs, and they just the rest want to put an album. Well, just put those two out as singles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with us that. with BS. Yeah, I agree with that. And I don't, I, you don't do that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> no. Uh, and your writing process, do you, uh, do you try to come up with, say, a concept, or do you have, do you, some people sit there and they'll da, 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 come up with lyrics and develop it that way. Do you have like a signature way that you create? So for R&B okay. specifically, I, instead of like sitting down and writing bar for bar, tip for tat, I'll go into the booth and um, I'll say per se like hum a melody. So it wouldn't necessarily be words, but hum a melody, right? Okay. And then when I come out the booth, make those melody words, then go back into the booth and then you know record that um that's how i write r&b but when i do hip-hop sometimes it varies sometimes i can freestyle sometimes i'll sit down and write it just depends on um the intention so like for radio songs i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna focus i'm gonna come up with a great concept i'm gonna come up with a hook first always hooks first always i am the hook queen i will tell you that now if you're looking for a dope hook come to spittles but um yeah, so the hook is always the easiest way, and then I can come up with concepts, you know. But we flexible over here, you know. So, uh, yeah, Spitfire Entertainment, don't forget it, baby. And merchandise. And merchandise. And all this. Branding. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely brand new. And I know we're going to talk about that later, but yes, yeah. we're yes, going to so, definitely yeah. cover that a little bit more. But you, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of the key elements involved. We'll talk about videos as well, and... and um, I think we just need to hit them with a song nice. so we can let them hear what you're all about. What do you want to hit them with first? Let's hit them with that Good Vibes Only since it's out already. Y'all can catch that on YouTube. It's a video out. I mixed and mastered yes, this Yes, you did. You mixed, and, you mixed and mastered it. Um, yeah. It was shot by my homeboy, Raider Nation. It was edited by Emo. All right. Uh, Emo TV. Right here on Happy Hour with DJ Luke. Good Vibes Only. Still. Yo, this is Tech Digital. You're not rocking with DJ Luke. Drop that. Shout out Tech Digital out there on the East Coast. I was digging that. Yeah, you had that was a like like a, a club. Yes, that's like so bouncy club. It, it is, and it's you know it, it's it's not too hip hop ish, right? It, it can kind of swivel on into another genre if you let it. But yeah, that video was awesome. I had fun shooting that with the Nene twins. If you guys don't know who they are, look them up. Um, they have did a lot of dancing work for a lot of people um, in the industry. So Nene twins, look them up. Shout out to you guys. I miss you guys. Congratulations on the babies. I miss you guys. Nene twins. Yeah. So, as far as working on music, a lot of folks, I'm sure we all use it to express something about us or get something off our chest or when you're feeling some pain, let me tell the world why in my music, but do you have like specific goals? Are you trying to release first or do you like try to do something that can fit with the times? I don't know, what's your approach? Um, so, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I've just been kind of switching um, the way I present my message and actually having an intention behind whatever it is I'm writing. Um, but, you know, my biggest reason for writing, of course, is self-expression, but also, you know, showing other people and especially like you, right? Uh, showing you that it is an outlet for sure and um, that it is a way to express yourself. You know, I'm big on youth. I've worked with um, a, a lot of youth in the community in the last four years. So music is a um, it's a universal language. So it's easy to use that. You know, music also to bridge social divides. Yes, it does. Music is um it, it's, it has always been here. It's been here before we were here, and it's gonna be here after because that's what it is. We have can't get enough. Um, let's do can't get enough. This is a let's hit y'all with a little bit of R and B, a little bit of R and B. So this is out too already on all platforms. And beat production, mix master. What's, what's this was uh, made by DJ Wu's Honey. Um, it was recorded by Emo and mixed and mastered by Small Guy. Small. Yeah. Yep. So Slay. Um, presented by Mike Mosley and myself. Um, I'm excited about the project. I'm excited about um, the videos I have for you guys, um, and I cannot wait for you guys to hear. Is there a, a general theme that all songs kind of 
Um, no, it's just a skabel slang in my own right. I have a special um, feature on there, Raggio. Shout out to Raggio um, for featuring on this song, Make It Last. Um, um, and um, yeah, there's, it's just about slang, just about being the best and being comfortable in who you are in every aspect, really. How many songs? It is five songs on there. Nice. That, that is the just about the exact definition of you. I, I have this conversation often too um, about like what is the best formula and I think try them all try them all until you see because um, I've as I've experienced sometimes I, I drop singles and those work for me um, dropping albums it works for me EPs it works for me so it's just a matter of switching it up mixing it up and you know giving them something to look forward to videos you've done a lot of videos uh, you you know what? I mean, I, I won't say a lot because you can always do more, right? But I would just say this about my videos. I like to do, you know, I have, I like to have quantity. So I have to have a lot of quality with mine. I'd rather have quality over quantity. And um, if, if you go back and look on my YouTube, Spitfire Entertainment, you'll notice that, you know, I do a lot of different things. Um, so like there's a video with, you know, on me in a crazy jacket, right? There's a video of me actually doing hip hop dancing. Nice. Um, so it, it just varies, you know, there's obviously some, I guess you would say more normal videos where I'm just standing and, and things like that. But I definitely always bring the theatrics to my videos because you will be entertained, not just by the good music, but also by what you're watching. A lot of great things in the works because I hope my listeners are going to be checking out more of what you have going on. That's the goal of this half of my show. I play music and I have awesome folks coming in yes. to talk about yes. really cool stuff. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Make it last like forever while the feeling's good Keep it going and going just like you knew I would Sip out the sip, drawing blanks The liquor is having its way Live in the moment, take it in on it Don't let them down for your sleigh, no way